I have the spin the wheel feature on my stream that anytime someone subs or donates a certain amount of bits to me, I have to spin it. And I'm going to show you the steps I took in order to set this wheel up on OBS. So once you click on the link down in the description below for the spin the wheel widget, it will load you into the stream elements website. First step is to click on custom widget one. There'll be a drop down menu. You want to click on settings. The first setting is going to be testing. This blue button will test out the spin and show you right here on this website. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the spin speed and the spin duration. So we're going to minimize that for now. The second feature is going to be middleware setup. This is probably my favorite feature. So uh, what this does is it will send a message in your chat as a result. So let's say I spin the wheel and it lands on treat. From here, once it lands on the result, it will say, Steve has to give Rocket a treat. So Rocket is my dog. So I have to give him a dog treat. He always loves when it lands on that. So I'll show you how to set that up right now. So the first step is underneath announce results to chat. If you want a message set in your Twitch chat, make sure this is selected as yes. Your second step is to go into this website called jabated.net. I'll have it linked down in the description down below. But once you load into that website, they will have you log in through stream elements. Once you get that set up, you want to go down to API tokens. You want to click on that, then go to this blue bar. It says scopes. There's going to be a drop down menu. You want to click on bot message, then add token. Once you click on add token, you'll see it appear underneath token. There's going to be a long code. You want to copy that code, go back into stream elements then paste that code underneath token. From here, you'll see variables. You wanna make sure that is set as result. If not, you can copy right here, copy that and paste it down in this text bar right here. So we're done, we're done with this. That's how you set up the chat results. So the main setting, this is where you show the wheel unload. So you wanna make sure that's selected as yes. If you wanna, once you switch to your spin the wheel scene, it will automatically load that wheel up. So the spin command, it, mine is just default exclamation point spin in chat and it will spin it. Uh, the show wheel, there's a command if you want, if the wheel's not showing or if you wanna hide it, you can hide the wheel or show the wheel with the same command. Um, here is the speed duration and sp uh, the spin speed. So I have mine set to 10, 10 and five. The duration is 10 seconds, the spin speed is 10, and the spin end screen is five. The play tick sound, this plays a sound every time the wheel spins as like a ticking sound. You can have this turned on or off or even upload your own sound. So the visual settings, I have mine set to clockwise, and it's all pretty much like your own preference. Um, I'm not gonna get too far into depth with this, but there was a overlay video that I deleted in order to do that, you just go click that little blue X at the bottom right hand corner of that square and it will delete that animated overlay. I uploaded my own logo to the wheel. You can click here, click change image and there will be a uh, website or not a website, but a, a window that pops up. You want to go to the top right, click upload and upload your own logo through that way. Then hover over and then click submit and it will upload your own logo through that feature. From here, we're going to min minimize that. I'm not going to talk about the text settings, animated frame. Those are all your own preference. We're going to go down into segments. So the first segment is going to be a Mountain Dew hot sauce shot. So whatever that, whenever it lands on that, that means I have to take a freaking Mountain Dew hot sauce shot. And it's horrible. I had to do that once before. Um, but as you can see over here, these are red. Um, the red ones are like rare that I don't want it to land on. So the segment size is going to be 0.25. So that's going to be the thinnest you can get it. So you can adjust the segment size however you like it. So the regular ones, like a dog treat, that's uh, segment size one. Uh, custom audio command, I have to make an audio command, that's a segment size one. So the wheel text, that's going to be what, is, what appears on that wheel. Um, you can type whatever you want out. The segment uh, one chat text. This is what's going to send that message in chat. So you can type out Steve has to do a hot sauce shot or give my dog a cookie or whatever, whatever you want. 
So this that's just going to be the chat message that's sent through your Twitch chat. Uh, the colors, this is where you adjust the colors. So if you want it red or white or blue, whatever color you want, that's how you set it up. The color right here, I believe, is the font color. So if you want to change it to black, there you have it. I usually keep mine. I don't know why the other ones are black. I usually have mine white on the red one so it's easier to read. But that's how you change the font color on that segment. So those are the segments. So I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, the spin the wheel in OBS. So once you save this, you want to make sure you save it and then go to this copy overlay link right here. You want to click on that little chain link. Then we're going to close out of this website. So once you copy that link, we're going to go into your um, into OBS, go to the plus button, go to the browse. We'll do test wheel. Going to name it. Okay. URL is going to be browse or click on URL and then I uh, paste that link. The width will do 1920 by 1080, whatever your resolution is for your stream. So now you'll see the weir will appear here. So now what I have done was go into, if you have a stream deck, actually you can't see that. I'm going to close out of that. So if you have a stream deck, what I have done was I usually use my spin the wheel during like drunk streams. That's like the most popular time I use the wheel. Uh, so on my stream deck, I have a spin feature right here as a chat message through my Twitch chat. So all I have to do is press this button right here and automatically spins it. So I will show you what my spin the wheel scene looks like. So press that button, sends, sends it into OBS as a spin the wheel scene. I press the spin button and it sends a chat message exclamation point spin and it automatically spins my wheel. And it landed on AFK for 20 seconds. So I mainly play Warzone um, or Rocket League. So if it lands on that, then in the middle of a game, I have to go AFK for 20 seconds. So that is how you set up a spin the wheel for your OBS. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. If this tutorial helped you out, I greatly appreciate it. If you liked the video and subscribe to my channel, I'm trying to currently reach a thousand subscribers and it would help me out a ton. So thank you for watching my video and have a great day.